Well, hey there, Cecilia here, your engineer by education, home business owner by desire. And today I'm going to share with you how to repair your credit report. Yes, how you can do it yourself. There's a lot of agencies out there that tell you that they can do it for you and they charge you a certain fee. They tell you how they can combine all your credit cards into one monthly payment where they pay it for you and then they take their fee. Um, but that's not the way to go. When you hire a company to... Um, get your credit together, credit cards, they are basically shutting down all your credit cards. Once your credit card company is contacted by this company, they will shut you down, which means you no longer have access to that credit. And it's not very likely that they're gonna open you back up again once you get your credit repaired because of the fact that you had to go through this third party agency to fix it in the first place. All right, so what I'm gonna share with you is how you can repair your own credit report. I'm doing this through a company that I'm with called My Econ. This is one of the many benefits that you get by being a part of My Econ and having a home-based business. So let's start with credit repair and I'm gonna show you what they have to offer. Let's share my screen. All right, so if you are not in My Econ, you don't have this, but if you are, just go ahead and get logged in. And if you wanna be, make sure you stay into the end so I can give you more information. Once again, don't pay somebody to do something that you can do for yourself. And it's not that difficult. So once you log in, this is your back office. We are going to go to the Smart Credit System. And in the Smart Credit System, you can watch this short video if you like. It's only three minutes. Um, it's an introduction, but I'm going to take you straight to the 750 credit plan. So in the 750 credit plan, you get 10 lessons on how to repair your own credit. And when you repair your credit, this applies to anything on your credit report. Whereas when you hire one of those agencies, they're just dealing with your credit cards. So this will help you with your entire credit report. So module one is the introduction. So it just goes through an introduction, lets you know about the credit plan, um, how to go through the website and how your credit scores are calculated. Module two shows you how to get your credit reports and um, your credit scores. You'll learn how to get free copies. One of the things that you'll learn in this course is that every year you can get a free copy of your credit report. Most people make the mistake of getting all three at that one time. The better thing to do is get one at a time because then you can space it out if you need to get credit reports again a year later, which is also suggested that you do just to make sure that nothing got boogered up from the, the corrections that you made. Number three lesson is how to read your credit report. So once you get your credit report, it may all look all Greek to you. And if you are Greek, I don't mean an offense, but this program is for United States only. So um, when you actually, the credit report is, I think, yeah, anyway, not getting into that, but you'll learn how to read it. So knowing how to read your credit report is the key to understanding your credit report. Mm, lesson four is how to dispute items on your credit report. So inevitably, most people do find errors on their credit report. I just found an error on my credit report. There was a, um, I had ear surgery a couple of years ago and I was making payments to one of the many people. When you know when you have surgery, you gotta pay everybody, the doctor, the anesthesiologist. The, I mean, there's just a whole plethora of people that have to get paid. So anyway, I just got a letter from a, um, bill collector telling me that I still owe $50, but they'll settle for 25. But I had them set up on a payment plan through my bank to where they got a payment every month from me to when it was paid off, the bank just quit making payments, the recurring payments ended. Um, but then they ended up on my credit report and I was like, what the hell? So anyway, I had to go ahead and dispute that. And that's what you'll learn in lesson four. In module five, you'll learn how to remove any negative payment activity. That's very important. You know, creditors think they're slick. They'll throw stuff on your credit report, but really, unless you are 30 days past due, I don't think it's legal to put on your credit report. I don't wanna say whether it's legal or illegal because I'm not in that field, but I know that if it is less than 30 days that you can remove it, that much I do know. 
In module six, you'll learn how to reduce credit utilization. So one of the things that goes into calculating your credit score is how much of your credit are you using? What I mean by that is if you have a $5,000 balance and your balance is 4,999, your utilization score will be higher, which in essence will lower your credit score versus somebody who has that same $5,000 credit line, but only uses $1,000. So you want to reduce your credit utilization to increase your credit score. And module six will tell you about that. Module seven is how to add credit history. This is important. Some people think it's okay that they have no credit. Actually having no credit is worse than having bad credit. So module seven will show you how to add credit history to your credit report. Module eight is how to properly apply for new credit and the things that you need to apply for. So you're not paying outrageous interest fees. You can avoid hopefully paying yearly maintenance fees and you do not lower your credit score with hard inquiries. A soft inquiry doesn't impact your credit score, a hard inquiry does. And if you don't know the difference, you'll learn it in module eight. In module nine, we'll talk about how to get credit mixture. You'll learn about the importance of having a mixture of different credit types. By that, we mean revolving credit, installment loans, and then things like a home, i.e. a home. So an example of revolving credit would be a credit card. An example of installment credit might be like a car loan or a unsecured personal loan. But in module nine, you'll learn more about that. And then module 10, you'll learn about check disputes. You'll learn what to do if the credit agencies do not respond in your favor. So just because they say no, doesn't mean it's the end. It's the same way in my business. Just because people tell me no, that doesn't mean I can't circle back and hit them up again in 90 days. Well, we teach you in module 10 how to do that with the credit agencies. Of course, not in 90 days, but you get the gist. And then after you finish all the modules, you'll go into income shifting. However, I can tell you, anybody that's on my team that is working a job, I teach income shifting first, and then we get into the credit report. Because once you shift your income, where it's on your paycheck and not going to Uncle Sam, you can use that money to pay down your debt, which is very important, and then work on improving your credit score. And then, of course, you get the summary module where you'll learn what to realistically expect as you go through this whole process of repairing and enhancing your credit. So I hope that gives you, let me stop the share. I hope that gives you a better understanding of how the Credit 750 program works in my econ. I did this video because I just wanted to give an overview. If you're on my team, we dig deep and we go through each module together, not together where I'm looking at your credit score, but we dig deep into the modules to make sure that you understand exactly what's happening and exactly how to go through the process. Once again, don't pay somebody for something you can do for yourself. If you need to improve your credit score, then you definitely need to keep as much money in your pocket as you possibly can. So if this information has been helpful for you, there are two ways that you can get started with the Credit 750 program. Way number one is a one-time payment of $99. What this will do is give you all the 10 modules that I just showed you along with the income shifting and the summary module as well. Way number two is to join our team and be part of my my econ family. Part of that is giving you the 750 system, the details on income shifting, plus you'll be with a team and a group of people who are not only business building, but learning and growing together. So if you want to do this, make sure you click the link that's in the description. So that way you can go ahead and get started with our team. If you want more information, you can hit me up at support at success with Cecilia.com, and Cecilia is spelled C-E-C-E-L-I-A. Um, but once again, I encourage you to get started. The investment is $34.95. That's right. For $34.95 a month, you have access to the income shifting strategy, the cash flow management system, the credit repair system, the cash back mall, how to um, use your extra money from shifting your income to eliminating debt, and suggestions for investment strategies. All that for $34.95 a month, on top of the fact that you will have a home-based business. So if any or all of that sounds interesting to you, Click the link in the comments. It's www.successwithcecilia.com slash 
buy money. But all that's in the description. I appreciate you. If you have further questions, feel free to drop me a comment. I'll get back with you with more videos like this with an explanation. And if you want the detail and to dig deep, join our team at www.successwithcecilia.com slash my money. And you can get that link in the comments. Thank you. And I'll see you next time.